you get back what you put in and you invest in young people and they give back tenfold to the world. We need to flip from this scarcity approach of giving the poor just enough to survive to an investment approach. Like we built the US education system, the university system, the public education system to invest in the productivity of Americans. We have stopped doing that. And we need to get back to that to where a college degree is attainable in a way that it does not make you indebted for life. And we need to see um, our incredibly resilient and hardworking um, low-income citizens as a, a resource. They literally are this untapped gold mine of talent. And I want people to realize that, that um, it's gonna take an attitude shift to get there away from exceptionalism or outliers only to an incubation and investment approach, which is, um, what we're doing at the last mile education fund. I think I am a troublemaker. Uh, being able to advocate and equip students to advocate for themselves um, in, in their respective pathways into tech, directly coach and develop students that uh, are his, have historically been marginalized in tech. Um, and that includes students that identify as women, non-binary, um, students of color, students that identify as low income, all of those pieces of, of my identity myself that I think um, need to be celebrated and embraced and protected um, as students are thinking about pursuing Good roles one. in tech. I said, I'm going to go get my PhD because I want to go you know, back home, which I'm a fifth generation Mississippian. I, I was in the Memphis area working. Um, I said, I want to go back home and encourage more women um, to, to study computing and, and go into computing career. Not so warm reception was because I'm female in an in a, in a area that is very male dominated. And particularly cybersecurity I saw was very dominated by men who are very results oriented. And um, if you, uh, you know, tell me that I can't do something, I'm like, hold my beer and watch. I am a troublemaker at the last mile by just listening and checking in on our grantees um, and listening to their needs and what is going on in their lives and what they need to ultimately be successful, not only in college, but in life. I was a troublemaker when I created and ran the first Bulldog Bite summer camp. And so Dr. Sarah Lee, my advisor, she shared that same passion that I was just discovering that I had. And, and I realized two things when that happened, that A, there were girls just like me that were out there that wanted to learn about computers, wanted to learn about technology, but didn't always have the resources to do so. And two, that there were women like Sarah out there that were making a difference by knocking those barriers down. And now I'm that woman with Last Mile Education Fund. I have actually been a troublemaker ever since I was a young girl. I want to cause trouble because a number is just a number. Your merit does not uh, you know, tell a story by a GPA or you know, what test you got on, the score, uh, on a test. It's really all about how you know, you think how you bring diversity to the table. And most of the women that I interview, which is what I do at Last Ma, I interview our grantees to see, uh, you know, what their needs are so we can fulfill them and help them with their last mile step towards college so that they wouldn't have to worry about things that I had to worry about when I was in school. When we have more than half a million jobs in technology alone that we need to fill, and with the borders effectively closed because of COVID, we're not going to be having a massive migration of talent from other countries anymore. Not for a while. So like in terms of flipping the model to now invest in the home team, like this is the time to invest in the home team. And the home team is talented and the home team is diverse, but the home team is also mostly low income.